Hello, everyone, and welcome back. And we're talking about uh, the Alta Delta today. <clears throat> Last time we uh, mentioned about the RMS prop uh, algorithm, and Alta Data is a uh, improvement of uh, another improvement or variation of the Alta Gray, and also uh, follow the similar algorithm than the uh, <clears throat> RMS prop. <clears throat> so it's just only the difference between the elder data and the RMS prop is the calculation of the second moment of the gradient. <clears throat> and also using a <clears throat> parameter called delta x to store the leak uh, average of the second moment. Okay. <clears throat> Here's some technical detail and review some of these. We uh, using this before when <coughs> we put it in the RMS prop. The second <coughs> uh, order mo momentum was calculated by a uh, exponential smoothing factors and using though though times the previous <coughs> second moment plus one minus though times the component wise uh, square of the GTG is the <coughs> the gradient at the current point the difference to the uh, RMS prop is we perform an update using rescale the gradient G prompt. And the, so we're using a <coughs> so called rescale uh, G prom and we'll show you how the G prom was calculated. So the new solution XT equals to the old solution XT minus 1 minus this G prom, is what we call the scale the gradient. Otherwise, this is a strictly uh, the gradient descent algorithm. So let's see how we uh, calculate the uh, rescale the G, uh, G prom. The G prom equals to the delta x, <coughs> which is the leak average of the second moment, divided by the mean square root of uh, 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 root of a mean square <coughs> called st. St is the second moment times the original <coughs> gradient GD. So it's kind of scare based on the delta X and G prompt. So what uh, delta X minus one is the leak average of the square rescaled uh, gradient. And we'll show you how to update this. So we initialize the delta t equals to zero and update the g prompt <coughs> each step with a new g prompt we calculate g prompt squared basically. The delta x equal to the low times of previous uh, uh, delta x plus one minus low times the g prompt uh, squared. So this is a uh, uh, very similar to uh, very similar to RMS uh, RMS prop. RMS prop just have an alpha on the uh, top part and lower part is exactly the same. So we're using the so-called delta x basically adjust the step size in the sense. Um, <clears throat> so we can also call this as a, a leak average because it's not exactly from the previous delta x step size, but we update the step size every iteration. Okay, so for the implementation, it's very similar to RMS. Basically, I just uh, re uh, grab the program for RMS and re just change a few lines. <coughs> Again, we're using uh, several NumPy and math uh, function, import them, and then my objective function is still the Rosenbrook function and its derivative. 
we can plot this function in surface okay and this is the gradient descent algorithm using elder tab elder tab <coughs> elder delta i'm sorry the framework is exactly the same only thing is how we calculate the second moment uh, okay then here we calculate the so-called alpha which is the step size from <coughs> uh, deviate from the rms prop okay then we're using the step size alpha and times alpha times gradient current gradient equals to the g prom which is the rescaled gradient and then we use this to uh, update the dx the uh, delta x delta x is the uh, physical step size and the solution we get is uh, the guess solution we have is this current solution minus the g prime which is minus the <coughs> uh, so-called rescale this uh, gradient then we append this uh, new solution into its coordinate see this second for loop right here is for each one of the coordinates so we do this for each coordinate then we forming a new solution so this line is a solution a a, a uh, array as array meaning uh, using this new solution uh, original from the list and then we put it into a uh, numpy array okay And then we calculate the so-called objective function, uh, so score, and we're storing the score. We print out each iteration and uh, so, uh, current solution and the score in a format manner. If the old score minus the new score equals to uh, less than equals to 10 to the negative 5, and then we stop our algorithm, and otherwise we just save the old score, uh, current score into the old score, and we reiterate for the next iteration. Okay, the main program is the same. I'm going to time it and because uh, <clears throat> using the time it uh, and using the similar uh, C and similar range. Uh, 1000 iteration maxima okay the row is 0.99 so here is really only I have only one <coughs> uh, parameter to two so the row is basically the smoothing factor so uh, okay or, or we call it exponential moving average uh, factors or <coughs> all we call the exponential smoothing factor so called though equals to 0.99 this algorithm is much easier to tune and and solving our problem called other that delta and then we calculate the execution time so we set a timer and before we call the subroutine and ending the timer and then we calculate the time delta which is the time delta between <coughs> uh, starting and ending time it turned out to be the elder delta to solving this problem we get lucky is really easy to uh, so we got uh, iteration only for uh, four iteration we converge to a uh, very nice uh, solution high precision and only takes about yeah uh, less than eight eight ten thousandths of a second okay uh, so this is a fairly uh, good uh, case I guess we get lucky for that and then the next one I have a similar routine and solving for a just a quadratic function s square plus y square and you can change that to rosenberg for your own exercise and i show the trajectory actually how <coughs> the algorithm actually uh, converge all right so <coughs> this
this out, uh, out of delta is a f very similar algorithm to RMS, but it just have a, a dynamic step size. And before we all have to even atoms and uh, RMS uh, prop and other algorithm, we all have to uh, set up a step size alpha as a fix. Here, actually, <clears throat> a using a so-called uh, scaled gradient to update the step size in that case. <clears throat> All right, this is a quick and easy uh, lecture. We Next, we're talking about Nesterov uh, momentum algorithm and future ones we're talking about how the Nest, uh, Nesterov uh, momentum can combine with the other algorithm. All right, we conclude this lecture and see you in the next lecture.